Hello, requirement first. Deke. Ah, Deke is so happy to see you. And Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. What? <laughs> Deke, that's a bit rude. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. Pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class. That I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. So, perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed. And luckily, Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Naughty dig. Come along then. Our first stop. This is around Mrs. Hogwarts. And she hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. Now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you have. Let's just get as many things as we can. Here. Here. Got fine nine moons. That has to be a lot of the end, so this one we can reach. Just do the knapsack mission for now. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect. Deke loves an outing. dark time in Deke's life, Deke found himself in service of the cruelest wizard he ever met. A nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. A good... We have a knapsack, eh? Deek 
enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff skeins nearby. It would be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right. Okay, let's equip it. Do cooperate, won't you? Damn it. Rebellion. I'm doing the evil thing here and catching as many as I can. Because you need a couple for sure in the. Settle yourself. Rebellion. There's light objects around the amount of beasts you have, and when you find loads, then you can also sell the extra ones as well in the shop. So, that's another way to make extra money. I managed to rescue a puffskin. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puffskins, and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puffskin. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobbernol, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. Rebellion. Miles away. These rocks have seen better days. Deke. Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The Jobbernals are just here in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. What if I can't find any beasts in their usual habitat? Beasts won't stray too far from their homes. Look nearby, or simply wait a moment, and they should return. 
Do you have any advice on how I can rescue more elusive beasts? Levioso is not only helpful when rescuing flying beasts, it, it can also help rescue beasts that are generally hard to catch. Try using that spell the next time you encounter a small or otherwise elusive beast. Would you mind talking a bit more about what it was like working for your former master? Deke's master was not kind to beasts or to Deke. He saw beasts only as a source of income to be used for potion ingredients and labor and... Deke will not say more. But Deke is grateful to be at Hogwarts where he can help care for beasts and make amends for the things his master made him do. To be honest, uh, by us capturing all these beasts and then using them to enhance our materials and stuff, we're not that different from your evil master. Then I shall go and rescue a job and all. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. Revelio. Rebellion. I also get XP just for cash. Arrest on the Rebellion. And those are the ones I can capture for now. level just by doing that. Decent uh, capturing. We should have at least a couple of males and females in the pack. I rescued a jobinol. Deke hopes your jobinol finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of a herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there.
Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. How did you end up at Hogwarts after working for your former master? Deke's prior master had no family, so when he died, all of his house elves were relocated by the Ministry. Deke was the most fortunate one, as Deke was sent to Hogwarts. Deke's friends were not as fortunate. Such a barbaric system here, this of the Ministry there. Would they deal with elves like slaves? I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. Capture a few moon calves. Revelio. Levioso. Arrest the moment. Oh, no, you don't. Everything's all right now. Revelio. Arrest the momentum. Good break. No need to be difficult. Revelio. Such a poacher. I'm not going to hurt you. Revelio. So a few moon calves, huh? Arrest the I believe how you're just capturing wild beasts. Uh, 
so we've maxed out our inventory, I would see. Can't capture any more beasts. It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. You'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. this mission here. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued, then you home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Hmm, what exactly did you think of? Heavens! You've done it! But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. And collect some more potions. for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. Let's choose the cutest ones here. the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well-fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puffskin hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. Wonderful. 
How many can we put out is the other question. Uh, so, three species, 12. So, four, 12, so three each max, so. Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. So now. Finally a female. Professor Howen will never believe this. I've collected stuff from everyone now. Cool. We're good. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now, Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. Revelio. Uh, the other thing that's cool about the Vivarium is you can get some free coins, moonstone, etc. I honestly don't know how it works. One thing that'd be cool is to test the limits of the vivarium as well. I mean, like, look, there's a little small item here. Orclum juice. I mean, it's a pretty rich ecosystem. Can 
Right, I found like three items already and I haven't even looked around everywhere. Crazy. Put the loom over there. too powerful for this item. These are the only traits I can add. Apparently I only have two traits I can apply, so... So deep. Upgrades done uh, already, which is great. Use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. 
For now, however, Deed suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Can I use the loom to enhance any item of clothing? The loom will only enhance clothing of a certain quality. Deke suspects you'll find more valuable clothing as you explore. Deke also knows that some of the shops in Hogsmeade can provide you with a variety of clothing for you to enhance. Thank you for your help, Deke. <laughs> 